Today on Signals Everywhere, we dive into the Immersat satellite service, specifically the Immersat 4 F3 AORW satellite, which stands for the Atlantic Ocean region, at 98 degrees west. Immersat is a British satellite telecommunications company that provides voice and data services such as phone, internet, and messaging to numerous companies, governments, and civilian users. In addition to the aforementioned services, Immersat is also known for leasing out transponders. One instance of this you may be familiar with is the OuterNet service that aims to provide knowledge to areas otherwise unconnected. While most of the communications on Immersat is either encrypted or contains data without a known decoder, there are some transponders which hold information that can indeed be decoded with publicly available software. Probably one of the most well-known modes is Immersat C which is a two-way data messaging service used for global maritime distress and safety system and is frequently seen transferring email, SMS, position tracking, and even weather updates, among other things. There is a number of available applications out there for decoding these services, keeping in mind that the laws surrounding what you may and may not be able to decode will vary with location. Do your research before duplicating anything you see here. I am not responsible for your actions. Here we can see a pretty wide swath of bandwidth coming off the Inresat 4 F3 satellite that I currently have line of sight access to on receive. In this case I'm using an AirSpy R2 software defined radio to pull in about 8 MHz of visible bandwidth. While there are many services available on Immersat, the first one I want to take a look at here are those containing ECG messages, or Enhanced Group Call. These are messages used in the Maritime Service for emergency communication of weather, pirate activity where you may have uh, people hijacking ships, and other types of messages that regard safety on the ocean. The other type of messages we'll see here are LES, or Land Earth Station messages. This could be anything from text messages, where they're just brief short messages back and forth to those on ships and Earth stations, or they could be full-blown emails with even potentially uh, private and confidential information. So we'll take a look at some of these messages, um, but I will be blurring out anything that is potentially confidential um, just for legal reasons. Um, but it is interesting to see what comes off of these particular satellites in terms of these LES and ECG messages. There are several places you'll find transponders within the Immersat satellite system that contain these types of messages. In this case, we're looking at 1.539 GHz in the L-band. I've also seen these around 1.537, as well as uh, other frequencies across the Immersat satellite service. So there are a few different places that you can look for these types of messages. The software you're currently seeing on screen is from ImmersatDecoder.com, and this happens to be a demo version of the software that only shows uh, specific messages while keeping most everything else uh, in the background unless you pay for the full featured application. Another interesting piece of software is one written by Techmanoid made specifically for decoding ECG and LES messages. The software works amazingly well, both with a real radio as well as a software-defined radio, and you'll see that it locks onto a signal with much ease. I'll leave a link in the description to the website if you're interested in taking a look at the application. However, you'll have to email the administrator on pricing and payment options for this particular piece of software. It's not simply publicly available for download. However, I will be touching on another application here in a moment, which is completely open source and free to use. That open source application, which I'm sure I'm about to botch the name of, is Silic C. This is actually made up of multiple applications. You'll see we have two programs running here at the moment. There's an application on the left which handles the decoding of individual frames off of Intersat. So this is the application that you feed in your audio through virtual audio cables, TCP ports, uh, serial, or whatever other means you happen to have of sending the framing data to the application. And then on the right, this application is actually feeding information again over UDP ports, allowing that application to take the framing data and then convert that into text that is actually human readable. So in the same way that the other application worked, you should be able to decode both the ECG and LES messages and get other information uh, through the debug tab showing you which satellite you're t um, listening to, among other details. 
Now that we have seen some decoders for the Immersat ECG and LES messages, I wanted to show you one of my favorite applications for Immersat decoding, and that would be Jero, or the Java Aero Immersat decoder. This was written by a man named John T. Olds, and I can't tell you how happy I am to see that he's providing this work out to the general public. This software is going to look at the Aero service within the Immersat satellite system. Uh, right now we're tuned to about 1.545 gigahertz, and there are a number of things that exist on Aero, uh, one of those being uh, ACARS messages. So in this case, we're actually listening to messages being sent from Earth stations up to the satellite and then back down to various aircraft. So by listening into this channel, we can see what aircraft are being communicated with, as well as messages being sent to those aircraft. These could be safety messages or any other number of messages as well, and it's just really cool to see what aircraft are overhead. This application is also capable, if you can tune into the C-band of the Enmersat satellite service, uh, the other direction. So you can actually track in real time a car's messages similar to ADS-B, where you can see the real-time location of aircraft via the satellite. But of course, like I said, you'll need to be able to listen to the ground station's downlink, which is going to be in the C-band instead, which is a little bit harder to pick up. Um, you're not going to be able to do this with just a patch antenna. Perhaps one of the most interesting features of Jero is that if you happen to have a fully compiled version of the AMBI codec, you can actually decode and demodulate and listen to actual calls originating from ground stations up to the satellite and then back down to the aircraft if you happen to be listening on the L-band side. Uh, that happens to be somewhere between 1.546 gigahertz and 1.54625 gigahertz, and you'll see these calls pop up back and forth across that band. You may even see that sometimes these calls overlap others, which can make it a little difficult to decode in software. Next, I'm going to play a short clip of some audio that was demodulated from a call. However, I have flipped, inverted, and otherwise distorted the audio, so that way their intended message could not be uh, easily divulged. Hello? If you're looking to listen to the other side of the conversation, aircraft to satellite back to ground, you actually need a C-band satellite with an appropriate uh, LNB that can down convert that into a range that your software defined radio is able to actually hear and decode. Because the AMBI codec is actually protected under a number of patents, uh, there is no way to easily get a binary copy of the AMBI codec. Now, some say that the patent for this particular version of the codec has expired, but it's really up in the air and nobody seems to know for sure. Since you can't get a binary ready to go, you have to compile this codec yourself from source code. If you'd like to try your hand at it, I do have a video tutorial series that I've released in the past, which I'll put in the description below to show you how to do that if you wish to take that upon yourself to give it a try, keeping in mind that it may not necessarily be legal for you to do this in your area. So please, again, I'm not responsible for what you do, and make sure you look into your local laws before compiling and using this software for any purpose. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, as always, please leave me any questions or comments in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you, uh, your thoughts on this video, as well as what you may like to see in the future. And of course, I want to thank all of my patrons because it is not only my subscribers, but my patrons who uh, really provide the extra support that I need to keep this channel moving forward. Uh, you know, if everyone on the channel donated as little as just a dollar per month, I could actually quit my job and start doing this full-time right now um, so every little dollar and you know cent really does help bring the channel together and it gives me more time to do what I love doing while teaching you guys everything I can uh, about software defined radio and radio communications in general so big shout out to all of my patrons and I can't wait to see you all in the next one